Celine Dion has made headlines lately for her drastically changing appearance. There are some who worry about you, who worry that you're a little too thin. She's been silent, dealing privately with the kind of news all families dread. It was the loss of her greatest love of all, husband Rene Angelique. Celine Dion broke down performing on stage tonight. Is this the fall of a legend? It was very hard. I had to leave him behind? How do you do that? You have been pictured with a very handsome young man. Is this a toy boy? Please, leave me alone. How did Ryan Reynolds get through to see me? I sent her a long letter. Do you think Renee would think this is appropriate? Some of those reasons we do get sick because we're not expressing ourselves or letting things out. I still struggle with those same things. Don't feel what you need to feel. You're never ready for something like this to happen. When did you realize it was all over? I will never forget because it was a wedding anniversary. I went back in my dressing room and I saw him looking pretty devastated and in shock. And I was like, but what's going on? And he sat down and he said, I have cancer again. The doctor just called me. And at that moment, honestly, my heart started to beat faster, but my body shut off. And I was like, I'm going to forget how I feel right now. I went on. I sang the song and then we went to the hotel and then reality started to strike. Celine wanted to be by Renee's side, but he pushed her to keep working. I had to leave him behind because he wanted me to start the shows again. How do you do that? Sometimes, don't feel what you, what you need to feel. Just do it. Go on stage. <laughs> I did. Because you're a showbiz veteran, you know how it... No, because I love him. And I did. And uh, it was very hard. He can eat. He's, he's got a feeding tube. I feed my husband, and um, and I feed my kids. <laughs> and unfortunately, I had to say, listen, I can't be half here and half over there. Please, allow me to stay home. Renee agreed to Celine's pleas, but it was too late. And he said, I just want you to wish you a great show and to tell you that I love you. I said, I love you very much too. That night, I came home so late and he was under medicine. I didn't want to go in the room and say, honey, I'm home, and then he would be confused, can't go back to bed. So I didn't see him that night. The next morning, the first feed was done by a nurse, and she came, and um, he was gone to his new life. You're never ready for something like this to happen. Even though you expect it, when it hits you, you're not prepared. And right now, I'm not quite sure how strong I feel. Celine kept losing people who'd been by her side since she was a little girl. My brother, who passed away of this pretty much the same cancer as him, died on Renee's birthday. We always had a house full of instruments. My brothers and sisters, they were my, my first influence. I was the luckiest one to represent all of them. And when Renee discovered her talent, she worked with him to become a musical legend. Fell in love with him with the way that he treated everyone around me. 